Yo, what's up YouTube fam? I got a fun video for you today. This is a video that I've been excited about for quite a while now. I got a bunch of choice gameplay clips to share with you guys that really show off the incredibly realistic graphics of Battlefield 1. However, I didn't just bump up all the in-game settings to maximum and set the resolution to 1440p. <laughs> no, 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 no. I took it a few steps further than that. Maximizing every aspect of the game's graphics for the best detail, the best visual clarity, and the best realism. So HP was awesome enough to send me the Omen, which is a monstrous PC that's got a GTX 1080, an i7-6700K, liquid cooling, and 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of this beast that's gonna allow us to push Battlefield 1's graphics to its limits. Now, thanks to NVIDIA's dynamic super resolution, I'm actually playing a 3K resolution, downsampled to 1440p, running at 60 frames per second with all in-game settings set to maximum, and additionally, I also used a subtle custom reshade injector to refine the temporal anti-aliasing just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And if you guys don't know what DSR or downsampling is, well, it's a brute force method of anti-aliasing that makes the image cleaner, clearer and more natural. And I also turned the HUD off, which I would not recommend doing because it literally turns everything off, even the crosshairs. It really looks good. I wish that I could turn all the HUD off except for the crosshairs. That would be, mm, that would be fantastic. I would love that. But seriously though, this, this is a visual and oral triumph. Dice should be proud. This is art. One of the techniques they're using to push the envelope of graphics is a technique called photogrammetry, where they scan parts of the real world and put it into a virtual one. The developers at DICE actually fly to real physical locations, like they actually flew to the real actual film locations of Star Wars, and scan those locations into the game, along with props and weapons and faces. And they're doing the same thing for Battlefield 1, which is one of the reasons why it looks so good. When tank shells and mortar fire are pounding craters into the earth, and you actually hop inside of those craters and use it as cover, you can see all the little rocks actually sticking out of the sand. And you can actually see the wind hugging the surface of the desert, blowing pieces of sand across it and, and just waves of particles. It's gorgeous. Dice, Dice pays attention to details. This is a very accurate desert. You got sloughing dunes. You've got big wavy sand sheets. Eroded mountainous rock and even tiny windswept stones amongst the sand. It's it's wonderfully immersive Yet despite all this despite how uber realistic this game engine looks Battlefield 1 is actually pretty adaptable I tried it on a few different systems with varying degrees of hardware on various settings and it's a pretty adaptable game however the omen oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> the 1080 and i7 6700K eat it for breakfast. I also have Battlefield 1 installed on the Omen's solid state hard drive, so I'm not seeing any texture pop ins. Everything loads very smoothly. I tried just about every combination of graphic settings inside of Battlefield 1 that I could throw at the Omen, and it handled all of it beautifully. 4K! 60 FPS was not difficult at all for the 1080 and i7 6700K, which is actually pretty wonderful. 
Although, if you guys are looking for more of a competitive edge, if, if you have a high hertz monitor with G-Sync or FreeSync, it wasn't difficult at all to get it to run at 120, 144 FPS. And this is without using DX12. You see, DX12 is actually kind of broken at the moment. It's supposed to improve performance, but it actually does the opposite. So, once DX12 is actually fixed, well... I'm really excited to play more of Battlefield 1's large-scale maps upon release. Visually, this is the most immersive game that I've ever played. And it's an actual living, breathing virtual battlefield. It's not scripted or anything. When you see AA cannons dot in the sky, biplanes and bombers doing strafing runs, horseback cavalry charging infantry head-on through mortar fire pounding craters into the earth as tanks destroy any and all cover within the city, it's actually players doing all that stuff. And I love that. I've always loved that about Battlefield, and now graphics have just caught up to how great Battlefield is. Okay, so this entire video you guys have been seeing choice clips and gameplay from Battlefield 1 running on the GTX 1080 and i7-6700K within the Omen at a very high resolution, 3K. Balance sampled to 1440p 60fps. It's gorgeous, it's delicious, but now I'm gonna start gushing about the details that you're seeing in them. One of the reasons lighting appears so realistic is thanks to cloud cover. You'll see clouds passing through the sky over the sun, shading strips of land. It's something you may not notice in day-to-day -day life, but your brain does. And it's gorgeous. It's actually one of my favorite features of the game. It looks so nice. I've always been surprised that more games don't do that. And sunlight also reacts to different surfaces realistically. When it hits metal, it'll look different than when it hits sand, or rock, or wood. Speaking of wood, dynamic super resolution makes that wood grain really just, it, it pops the fine little details that you wouldn't necessarily notice otherwise. Dynamic terrain deformation can afford you unexpected cover, which is sweet. It's, it's basically like a makeshift trench. Also, destructible buildings are back in force. It's bringing me back to the days of Battlefield Bad Company and Bad Company 2. Man, I love those games. Those games are sweet. I don't know why I haven't talked about the explosive effects yet. They have heat distortion. It looks so good. The plumes of smoke. I like explosions. I like explosions a lot, and I like a lot of them. And this game delivers on them, and they actually are pretty breathtaking. The visual effects actually remind me of Crisis. Back in the day, Crisis was as good as it got. All right, it had the best effects, the best graphics, the best audio, and there's a legend going around. I'm sure some of you guys remember this legend. The legend was that Crisis would melt your rig. It was so good looking. Now, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but. I did have a PSU blow up while I was playing Crisis. It was probably unrelated, but still, my rig back then was very different than the rig that I'm using for this video today. And Crisis was a very different monster than Battlefield 1 or Frostbite Engine. Still, I like to watch my temps when I first play a game. I'm, I'm careful like that. So I set the lights on the front of the Omen's chassis to mirror the temps in my computer, and the closer to blue it was, the cooler it was. The closer to yellow or orange, and then finally red, obviously the hotter and hotter it got. It stayed very cool. Granted, the Omen does have liquid cooling, which helps out a ton, but it looks like Battlefield 1 isn't going to be melting any rigs, even though it will melt your eyeballs. This is a really slick looking case too. I like it a lot. It's one of the best case designs I've seen. It's actually kind of a small looking case too. It's not a full size case. Everything's very compact. There's very nice cable management inside, which is very fortunate for me because I always sucked at that. But there's still enough space if I ever want to upgrade the graphics card, which probably won't happen anytime soon, or if I want to put other cards inside of it. I've already got my PCIe card inside and a few extra hard drives in the docking bays. 
This thing is an absolute dream for me. I am so hyped to make videos and streams with this baby. It's even got two terabytes of hard drive space in addition to the SSD, which I used in abundance for capturing plenty and plenty of clips of Battlefield 1 during the beta. But I could go on for hours, and I mean literally, I could actually go on for hours talking about the tech behind the graphics of Battlefield 1. It really is amazing stuff. Your eyes, however, soaking it all in, are gonna tell you more than I could fit into words inside of this video. So I'm gonna leave you with some hot, spicy clips of Battlefield 1 in all of its beauty and glory. And I'd like to thank HP for partnering with me with the Omen PC, bringing you awesome streams, awesome videos, and making videos like this possible. Thank you, HP. That was really cool, you guys. I appreciate that. If you want more details on the Omen or its full specs, I've got those details and links down in the description below. And thank you for watching this video, my YouTube family. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found it helpful, if you found it entertaining, and you're not part of a massive family, join up! We stream almost daily, we hang out with subscribers, we play games with subscribers, and we just talk shop, talk about movies, talk about games. We have a good time here. But until next time, game massively, and take care. Tank over there. Yeah!